Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. I'm really excited for this one. This bottle was in my blind just the other week. And I couldn't be happier to have found a bottle that I will review in depth for you tonight. That's right. It is Lucky 7, the proprietor, 14 year barrel proof. First off, what a gorgeous bottle. What a gorgeous bottle. Before we dive into, you know, all the aesthetics about it, if you didn't watch my uh, ADHD whiskey style blind flight, uh, I will link it above. This was sample number four. So, one of the best samples of the night. This was sample number four. Uh, this bottle came out a while ago, but luckily they had one in the back. One in the back. What are the chances? So this is Lucky Seven, which is a non-distilling producer. I know, I know. Don't shun them just yet. This is aged 14 years and comes in at 134.5 proof, which is compute, 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 67.25% alcohol by volume. They have this fun little, little, little ticket, little ticket thing on the front. It says admit one. And it says curators of fine spirits on the front. Limited showing. Very movie themed instead of limited edition. Right here we have a single barrel select from Bourbon Street Wine and Spirits, located in the not-so-great state of New Jersey. Uh, I mean, again, gorgeous bottle. Look at it. Look at the gold. And look at the back. Wow. Look at that. As you drink it, and even from the front, if you can see here, look at the little diamonds you can see from the front. It's got diamonds around the neck. Even though even the wood cork here has Lucky 7 on and it's even got the diamond pattern or embossed into the cork. So I'm excited. Uh, this is high aged Barton juice um, is kind of the premise. I think that's what everyone pretty much agrees on. It doesn't say here in the back, obviously, but I think that's the general consensus. Now you might say high aged Barton. What other high age Barton do we, you know, do we get regularly? We get Sam Houston's, the high age is there, and we get Calumet Farms, you know, 14, 15, 16 this year. Um, if you want to hear my thoughts on the Calumet 16, I will link that above. Uh, all great, but all have one thing in common. Lower proofs. They're all, you know, 100, 105, 106, somewhere in that range. This bad boy here is not only high age Barton, but high proof high age Barton. So without further ado, let's get into it. If anyone cared, that was barrel 81. But there's no more left. I got the last one in the store. All right, uh, a pretty nice color, I would say, on this glass. Pretty thick and syrupy looking as I swirl it here. Now, to be fair, I just cracked this like 10 minutes prior. So this has been in the glass about 10 minutes, but it's a little bit late here tonight and we gotta get this out. So it's all we're gonna give it. The 10 minutes and a little bit of a swirl action right here to uh, release the aromas. All right, let's get into the nose. Oh my God. When you smell that, you know this is gonna be a special bourbon. Oh, all right, it's immensely dark. There's there's leather, there's oak, dark, dark oak. There's, there's chocolate on the top of this in loads. Very dark fruits. Like burned caramel and barrel char. This is a dark smelling whiskey. High aged, you can just, it smells wonderful. I. Can't say enough good things about the nose. 
All right, let's give it a sip. Wow, that finish goes and goes. At 134.5 and the neck pour, didn't drink hot. Now I had a warm up, uh, warm up bourbon prior, but it didn't. It didn't drink particularly hot. I, I would have guessed mid 120s, not 134. In fact, I, I may have guessed like high 120s or mid 120s in that blind video <laughs> that I linked above earlier. And this is just so much caramel, oak. There's barrel char. There's like dark fruits. Um, does not taste traditional Barton to me. Uh, this single barrel select is excellent. Excellent. Mm, let's take one more sip. This is phenomenal. Again, really dark on the flavors. Long finish. To me, if if you were to say what does this what distiller does this taste like? You know, it has a little bit of like Buffalo Trace ness going on to it, as well as kind of like a Four Roses. It's like a, like a well aged Four Roses, like a, one of their barrel strengths that's got a lot of years on it. it just brings a perfect amount of leather, oak, caramel, and barrel char, and dark fruits. Um, there's a hint of chocolate on the palate, but I get a lot more chocolate on the nose than I get in the palate. Think of like a George T. Stag that is dark, uh, but it doesn't it doesn't really have the cherry note. It doesn't have the cherry note, but it has those other dark flavors um, that come from that. This is fantastic. If you have barrel 81 of this from Bourbon Street Wine and Spirits and you have not opened it, do yourself a favor and open it. If you see this on the shelf, it's top-notch stuff, let me tell you. I know it's a non-distilling producer, and you're like, you know, I, I like Sam Houston Calumet. It's totally different animal. That, like, 30 extra proof points really brings it to a whole new level. And this is a top-shelf bourbon. This is top-shelf. really is. It is dangerously easy drinking for how high proof it is. Let's talk, about it. Let's talk about how much you should pay. So MSRP on these bad boys anywhere from 140 to 160 depending on where you find them. So in a lot of cases, they're, they're over the $10 a year. But I will say the, this particular store pick drinks exceptional and easily drinks that $150, $200 level. If you're paying for bourbons in that range and that's in your price range, this is a hitter. Do not feel like this. This will not let you down if you get a good store pick of that. Uh, in that price range. It easily punches in that class. This bad boy here is definitely going to make my best of 2022 list. And you know, we got some time left in the year, so we'll see where she ends up. But I guarantee you, this will be in the top 10. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500, and then we're going for the 1,000. So help me get to 500. Appreciate it. Have a great evening, everybody.